I'm gonna call him Lex. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with whatever the switch name is if I don't know the tag. My hot take, I think I was saying this on st uh, in stream chat at one point, is that Snake is not a Smash character. When you're fighting Snake, it's it's a whole different game. And Game for Thoughts Snake is ve a very good example of that. He does a really great job of just like having a bunch of stuff on stage and just making sure that you don't feel safe no matter where you are. Very nice shield pressure there on that uh, down air and the up smash. I'm intrigued to see a Richter get this far. Usually you don't see uh, Belmonts do super well, but I mean, if you got a good one, especially on Wi-Fi with their ability to control the stage. Ooh, game for thought. Had a nice setup going there with his uh, C4. Almost probably could have gotten an up air for a kill there. Instead, uh... He just, he just keeps the pressure on. And <laughs> just the up smashes. Lux can't seem to do anything about them. Just because there's so many. There's so much happening against the Snake. And the Nikita against the stage will take the first stock. I said I might leave. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay for this game. This is fun to watch. I, this is more fun to watch than I usually find Snake gameplay to be. <laughs> that ledge pressure was so weird coming out from Game for Thought. He just held down the jab button and it worked. And uh, Kremek doesn't couldn't handle it. There's a lot of weird snake stuff, a lot of pressure that Snake can put on that's just really hard to handle if you're not prepared for it. And like, no fault of the opponent. It's just Snake is just really good at just continuously applying pressure. Very nice down air to up B coming out from Kremek as he takes the uh, stock number one off of Game for Thought. Seems to be doing a little better now that he's getting himself some stage control. But man, Game for Thought is just constantly throwing stuff out, just because that's how Snake is. It's always something wherever you walk. It feels like you're just never safe against Snake. It's so weird how they made this character work. He survived that. That's impressive. Game for thought. Almost got a stock taken by that up B. I'm also impressed with Kermit's ability to survive to almost 200% against Snake with Richter. I feel like I'm surprised he hasn't gotten ledge guarded by now. The dash attack almost taking it, but Kermit hanging on. Oh, all right. Yeah, the Nikita that was undetectable against stage. That'll take the stock. If Krimbuk can take the stock here, he very soon, like, without letting him rack up too much more damage, he could leave himself in not too bad of a spot. And, uh... I don't know. Krimbuk definitely looking to make it as hard as possible, but, oh, can't quite get back to stage there. Uh, so as long as he can keep that stage control, keep that pressure on, Krimbuk can definitely... This is still very much doable for him. I mean... He didn't make it this far in losers for nothing. He's clearly, clearly very skilled with his character. Oh, snake up tilt. That'll do it.
game for thought taking game one of this uh this losers round seven match what's the quarters and two rounds now yeah losers there's a lot of people in this tournament this is a very big bracket losers is very long I think I'm going to go ahead and hop off now, though. So this has been uh, my first attempt since December at commentary. Um, it's been cool. Maybe they'll be back next week. Maybe I won't. Who knows?